Hello, everyone. My name is Wendy Keller, and I'm the Department Chair of Communication, Education, Humanities, Reading, and American Sign Language at Stark State College. Our college is located in North Canton, Ohio. And four years ago, I was asked to attend an OER conference, came back and was very intrigued and interested in the topic. Little did I know four years later, I would be serving as uh, the liaison and data collector for our college. So today I would like to share with you the cost savings as well as a survey that we recently conducted with both the faculty and the students who participate in classes using OER. So let me begin by sharing with you, in the last four years, we have saved students over $3.2 million. Here is a list of the courses that we are using OER in this semester. They range from business classes, effective speaking, history, psych, soc, uh, management, and biology was our recent uh, addition. I can say that for fall of 24, we have additional courses that will be moving to OER as well. So again, the cost saving is, is wonderful. Um, some schools are collecting data where it's just a ballpark averaging $100 per textbook. I can say that we are very detailed oriented in the fact that uh, we are down to the penny of tracking textbook costs over each semester times the, the actual enrollment of each semester. So again, um, we have, old textbooks that range from $30 to over $250. So those numbers were actually used specifically to, to come up with this calculation. I share that every semester with our faculty as well as our, our, um, our bookstore. Our bookstore is in partnership with me and they are wonderful about listing the classes each semester for students to see that, that are the OER classes. Um, also, we use a banner, and so in our attribute field, we list that it is an OER textbook. It's kind of funny. Sometimes students will call me from the bookstore and say, I'm here to buy my book, and I don't know what OER is. So we are trying to get the word out of what OER is for our students, and um, you know, students are very excited when they do discover that there is no textbook to buy. Um, additionally, our bookstore is also working with faculty as we move some classes to instant access. Um, this, this data does not reflect instant access, just the OER um, completely free textbooks. So last year, this has been wonderful that we've been keeping the data collection, but we also wanted to hear some qualitative data from students and faculty. So I'd like to walk you through the faculty survey to start with. We had 56 faculty members participate in the OER survey. The first question says, what was, what was your expectation moving to an OER textbook? 11% um, of them said it was negative, um, 47 said they really didn't have an opinion, and about 40% said that they were actually really excited to move to a free textbook. The second question there is, how much time did you put into changing assessments moving to OER? As we will see, one of the disadvantages of moving to OER is the fact of losing some of those publisher resources, such as the PowerPoints and quizzes, et cetera. And so as you can see, um, about 57% of the faculty said that they were able to move to an OER text book and, and make their own resources in, in less than 10 hours. 43% uh, of them said that they did spend more than um, between 11 and 20 hours. Um, I can attest to in, in my department, um, moving to effective speaking, there were six of us full-time folks and we divided and conquered and kind of used jigsaw strategy. So one of us to change the discussions, another person worked on quizzes, PowerPoints, that sort of thing. So it is much easier and less time when there are multiple faculty working together on OER. Some of these classes that we are teaching, it might only be one person teaching it. So that person had to work solo as they uh, moved to OER. The next question talked about, do you prefer the OER textbook? 59% um, said they do prefer the, the OER textbook over the the prior hardcover book. Uh, will you continue to use OER? About 80% of the, the faculty said yes. Um, I can say that in one of our sections, American Sign Language, um, the faculty 
didn't feel like it was as quality as the original textbook, but for the most part, um, faculty are saying that um, they will continue to use it. Are students performing as well using OER textbook, which was our next question. About 75% of the faculty said they were performing as well. I then asked an open-ended question is, what advantages are there to using OER? Um, kind of no surprise here of what the research suggests, that there's immediate access, that in many disciplines, there's a large selection of topics to move from. I can say in some of our classes, we use more than one OER textbook in a class to cover the content. Cost uh, to students that it's free is, is a big advantage. Um, some said that it was the same content as the publisher, um, easy to use. They like the, the copyright um, abilities, and oftentimes the OER resources were more up-to-date versus the printed textbooks. On the other hand, there were some disadvantages identified also. One, finding the right book. I still have some faculty that have asked me for an OER textbook in a discipline, and it's just it's very difficult to find. Um, to give you an example of that, we have a developmental reading course and a lot of the OER textbooks we found had both English and reading mixed together. And since we have two different departments for that, we couldn't find the, the, the perfect book to move our developmental reading courses to, but we are still looking and uh, you know hope for the future. Uh, some faculty said that both themselves as well as the students still preferred a hard copy textbook. Um, in our bookstore, we have a binding machine, and so many of the OER textbooks can be printed for a nominal fee. For example, I believe our history course, you can purchase it for $20 if you do want a hard copy. And of course, students can print off certain chapters uh, in the computer lab as well. Also noted was the lack of resources, um, the PowerPoints, the quizzes, that sort of thing that the faculty many times had to come up with on their own moving to OER. Um, a few people mentioned that it was a little bit more difficult to navigate and that um, sometimes it wasn't always updated. So the students were also given the survey. Um, this was sent out an anonymous survey and we had about 123 students respond. And I, I summarized it here for you that um, the first question, do you enjoy taking a class with OER text? 95% of the students said they do. Do you use the textbook? 87% said they did. Do you find it difficult to read the text online? 23% um, said that, that uh, they did find it difficult. So 78% thought it was not difficult to read online. Did you take this class because it was OER? Um, and 90% said no. So we're finding that many students, it's still a surprise when they find out that the, the class is OER. Now, many advisors and faculty, as we are registering students, we do say, here's your choices for next semester. And by the way, these courses are OER. And more and more, I'm finding that students are um, attracted to classes that have OER materials. Uh, the next class in the question there, would you take another class using OER? Over 90% said yes. Do you wish more classes would use free OER texts? 86% uh, said that they do wish that more classes would have OER texts. Again, students were asked about the advantages and disadvantages of using OER. Um, the, the advantages are noted here, many uh, repetitious answers on this one. The biggest one was that it kept costs down for students during the semester, helped them save money. Students uh, said that they could read it anywhere from their phone or computer, tablet, and that, um, again, free was stressed quite a bit. Um, most of time students noted that they could easily search a topic, um, I'm assuming by like control find in that OER textbook and not be flipping through pages. Um, some noted that it was less to carry. It was less of a hassle to go to the, the bookstore or order a book online. It was easy to read. And uh, one person noted that it was, uh, they didn't have the stress of worrying about losing their textbook after purchasing it. Lastly, some disadvantages were noted by the students. Um, no surprise, again, that they mentioned that, of course, you need some type of internet access. 
Um, they mentioned that when the system's down, we use Blackboard and very rarely does Blackboard go down for us, but if it did, then they couldn't access their textbook. Um, some noted that uh, it, the, the speed of, of uh, downloading the book and some mentioned that it was, it was um, it took them some time to learn how to read a book online versus a physical book. Um, there was mention of sometimes the font was too small, um, looking at the screen for too long hurt their eyes. Um, also, they, they talked about how it was difficult to reference the textbook while working on some assignments and not being able to highlight certain sections. And um, like I mentioned before, that in some classes, we're using more than one OER textbook. And one student noted that it was difficult to know which textbook that they were supposed to read out of. Um, another student mentioned that um, that wasn't the embedded dictionary option, but they did note that they could copy and paste it into a, a software program to read the, the text to them. And lastly, a few students noted that um, they were worried with the OER text that they might not have access, access down the road if they want to keep it for future reference. So again, we found this information very eye-opening. And again, I go to our yearly retreat every year and share this. And um, it, our goal is that we will continue to move forward uh, with additional OER texts and maybe swap out if there's one that isn't as favorable to the old text. But again, we are very excited that uh, we have continued to save students so much money, but now finally took the time to, to ask for their um, both quantitative and qualitative data. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me at wkeller, K-E-L-L-E-R, at Stark State, S-T-A-R-K-S-T-A-T-E dot E-D-U if you would like um, any additional information or have any questions. Thank you so much.